Okay, check it out, check it out. How disappointing was it when you were a kid and there were like cool walking robots in the store and you got it home just to be disappointed that it really had wheels under it? Check this out. No disappointment included. We've got different blasters we can attach. I'm not going to show you this one because the other one over there has all the bullets in it right now. And we can also shoot uh, foam darts and we can sh shoot ping pong balls by attaching these various things. Here, let me shoot a ping pong ball. This one, this one's really cool because uh, the longer you hold down the, the shoot button, the more it charges up and the farther the ping pong ball shoots. So you could uh, hypothetically line some cups up and uh, shoot different distances and get it in all of them. Or if you're battling against someone else, you can actually get direct hits on them. Anyway, yeah, let me back up a little bit. Yeah, yeah I'll just set it to shoot far. Back here. Let's do that. Let's do another one. Ooh. Anyway, then you also have stuff you can stick on to customize your robot. Now, this stuff is actually still sort of in the works. So, if anyone has any cool robot drawings that they might want to do uh, there's a small chance they could make it into the design because I'm still putting you know the final touches on those and actually the armor is totally up in the air still and then there's other armor this is the uh, the battle armor that goes on top of this which seems a little bit silly until you realize that it actually does something. Which is what I always thought cool toy armor should do. Here, let's see what we can do here. I've got another controller. Did I mention there's a good guy and a bad guy? So anyway, as you can see, the armor flies off when it gets shot. You have to get a decent hit, but once you do, it totally flies off. And, uh... Just ignore the wire on the back of this one. It's still a bit of a prototype. Oh, this one has exploding armor, too. And uh, the armor on this one is still up in the air too. This is just the uh, rough concept armor to, you know, do tests and things like that. These suckers... Those are kind of loud. These suckers actually shoot really far, except for a couple of the discs are the wrong size. But all, all the correct size ones shoot really far. And there's also another piece that goes here that I don't have right now, but I wish I did because uh, on the controller there's buttons for it, and it raises this up and lowers it. So you can actually shoot up or down. <clears throat> you know, I imagine you can shoot up or down. Anyway, this is all this stuff is like totally fun. And the, the the kind of toy I always wished was on the shelves when I when I was a kid and went to the store. Uh, but there's a small problem right now. Actually there's a couple small problems. The armor isn't finished. I have to finish that really fast because they, they still have to make them. Um, and it needs a name. We don't have a name yet. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about ideas for names or what I call it or anything. Because maybe someone will just come up with a really cool idea for a name. And uh, <clears throat> I don't want to give, give any, uh, any preconceived ideas. But anyway, if anyone comes up a, with a really cool name for these things. Um, and you know, just put it in the comments down there. If we pick it. I'll totally send you one. The uh, the WoW stuff, this is the toy company I'm working with here. 
the WoW stuff guys said that uh, that was totally cool. Um, so yeah, if anyone comes up with a really cool name for these, it'll go on the box and on the thing and everything, and I'll totally send you a free one. Uh, okay, I gotta go. Oh, and this is one of the early concepts for the uh, dart launcher. This actually works, but someone sort of destroyed the socket that plugs in. The marketing guys always break prototypes. Anyway, it, it, it shoots darts. Yeah, it shoots them really fast too. And it holds 12 of them. And uh, this thing actually has an extra hopper so you can hold 10 ping pong balls. And then this guy holds 12, but you can really stack it another couple uh, on, on the top there. And I wanted to make sure you could store lots of bullets in your, uh, you know, shooting things. So it's actually kind of more fun. And also on the, uh, on the, like, the head of the robots, there's a, a target area. This is totally not finished. This is, I mean, it's an early-ish prototype. But there's a target area here where if you hit it, it, uh, counts, it registers hits with a, you know, a little LED light that changes, which I still have to finalize. Anyway, and once you get hit three times, your, your robot turns off or something like that. We're not totally sure what the, what the end result is going to be there. But anyway, it's totally fun to play with. Um, we've been uh, messing around, and it's actually really fun to shoot the uh, armor off the legs and stuff. All right. Sorry if I'm slurring my words a little bit. I've been in meetings, like, for two days. Uh, okay, I gotta go. Bye.